Hi, here we come. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Thursday training. And we are so excited to be here. So I am Molly, and this is I'll have I'm, to go my hands this one. <laughs> I'm Paula Munkle, and like Molly said, we're excited to be here today, you guys. We have a ton of great information to share with you. And I think we're just gonna jump right in, right, Molly? I think so. So let's just, I want to make sure that we are live in the group. So hopefully. I um, can see this, Molly. So you if can you see have, us. Okay. Yeah. So oh. drop us a note where you're tuning in from so we can say hello. Want to make sure that everyone can hear us and see us okay. And yeah, definitely let us know you're here. Oh, good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, Mandy. Um, yes, it's great to see you all on here this morning. And yeah, so I am going to go ahead and yes, Kimberly is actually a neighbor of mine. So how fun is that? Oh my gosh, good morning, Sigrid, even though I know it's not morning. I'm from Greece. So goodness, it's so exciting to see people from not only your own neighborhood, but like all over, isn't it? For um, sure. That is amazing. Yes. Yeah. So, all righty. So, I am going to go ahead and share my screen and let's see if we can get this good. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I want to make sure I share audio as well. Okay. This is always fun when you're um, doing things a little bit different, right? And you're like, okay, so whose screen am I sharing there? We oh, see you know what? Screens. So while you're pulling it up, Molly, I'm just going to say hello to Whitney and Cody. Thanks for jumping on, you guys. We're excited that you're here. Mandy, good morning. Let us so, know. Right do I want to share a video. I don't want to share. A, do I want to share a video file? I think you just want to share your screen. You should just be able to share your screen on the sure. bottom. Hit share. Yeah. Let's see, share screen where it says some shoes to share. Um, so when I share, um, oh, maybe I want to share. Ah, there we are. Looks like it's loading. There it is. Molly, we're good to go. I see your screen. We are okay. good to go. Okay. Fan Hi, Hi, Gayla. Hi, Frida. Yes, technology is so fun, Kimberly. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. So you can see my screen, right? Yes. Yep, we're good to go. Okay, so let's see. Okay. This is so exciting. It's always fun to do something new, isn't it? Sometimes we're always a little afraid to do something new. Um, but I'm always excited to do something new, even if it's scary, because it's kind of fun. <laughs> so we are going to talk today about how to define and attract your perfect prospect, because <laughs> really, who wouldn't want to do that, right? Um, who wouldn't want to be able to attract the perfect prospect to your team? And I know for me, that has been, goodness, just a, a total revelation in my network marketing business of going, oh my gosh, yes, there are people that we really want to attract and maybe there's others not so much. What do you think, Carla? Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, we're, we're going to dive right into this, but there's going to be lots of nuggets. So if you guys have a pen and paper, please grab that. We're going to give you a lot of value today and show you exactly what to be doing to attract that perfect prospect. And like Molly said, we all want that perfect prospect. Um, so we have go-getters, people in the business that want to be in the business with us um, to really learn and grow. So 
Yeah, so our mission is to show you simple strategies to build your business on social media and attract qualified prospects to you. And for me, being a science teacher, when I think of attraction, a lot of times I think of magnets because we are either attracting people and sometimes unknowingly we're repelling people. And I have some pretty funny stories that I know I can share with you later of knowing things that I've done to actually repel people instead of attract people, um, which is, is kind of fun because we all make mistakes and grow in this business, right? 100%, yeah. Okay, so in case we haven't met, we are Carla Munkel and Molly Hurd, and we have been in network marketing for a combined 15 years, and we build entirely online using attraction marketing. And I know that for Carla and I, we both mentally and physically feel on fire. We are so excited to be where we are. We are both moms. And in the past year, we have been leaders on the fastest growing team in our company. We have rank advanced a total of nine times in the last year since we are since we started. And we are super passionate about helping people achieve their dreams. And Carla, is there anything you want to add to that? No, just that it's, you know, it's it's fun to win. And I can tell you that that hasn't always been the case. So diving into learning some of these strategies um, that we've both invested in in the last year, Molly, um, it's kind of surreal to be here today, right? I remember a year ago of first learning some of these strategies from Trish and Ruth and kind of being stopped in my tracks, listening to some of the things that they were saying, it was like they were in my head. So to be here, fast forward a year, sharing some of those same things that we've learned and applied and seen the results of, it's just super exciting and I can't wait to dive into this with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I know last night as we were kind of going through this, we were sharing some pretty fun stories of things. So yes. um, why is this different? So what worked six months ago on social media won't work today. And I will tell you that even in the last year since I've been a part of this team and learning attraction marketing skills, I've seen changes in Facebook and other social media platforms drastically changing in the last few months. And we are always committed to creating the next thing and learning uh, what is going to work and trying to keep sort of ahead of the curve, okay? Most network marketing teams, leaders keep doing what worked for them at the beginning, even when it's failing their team and it's like, oh my gosh, yes. And we are the only network marketing team within our company with a full attraction marketing training that doesn't require fancy tech or an ad budget. And I don't know about you, but I've been um, exposed some, to some training or given advantage to take some training. And it was thousands of dollars. Um, it was just crazy. Carla, have yeah, you yeah. seen some of those? Yeah, I've been guilty of, um, you know, clicking on paid ads and being directed to various resources only to fall short of not getting what what what. Um, was portrayed or what was uh, advertised per se. So if you if this sounds good to you guys, give us some love hearts below. Um, we want to make sure that you guys are this is resonating with you um, as we get going here. So this is for you, you guys, if you are posting on social media and not getting the results that you desire. This is for you if you feel confused or frustrated with all the different things going on on social media, the various platforms, what to post, not sure when or what to post. Um, this is also for you if you understand that social media is the land of opportunity. We have so many different platforms that are available to us, over a billion users on Facebook. And that gets me really excited because there's just, it's just a sea of opportunities. So what we're gonna teach you today is honing in on that so you can attract and be set apart out of the billion users on Facebook and hone in on the type of people that you're looking to build a business with and lock arms with. 
And this is also for you if you're coachable and motivated and not afraid to try something different. If you're willing to learn, apply, and teach, um, you will see a lot of success. And uh, Molly and I are the byproducts of that exactly. Yeah, most definitely, which is super exciting. And it's like, I can't even, I am so excited to keep learning and uh, do more, which is really cool. So why this is important to you right now. So social media, as I mentioned before, is changing quickly. It seems like every few months, you know, the Facebook algorithms change and you've got to stay on top of the trends or you're going to fall behind. So many strategies that worked for the past several years are no longer working. And an example of that is a lot of what we call old school techniques, um, which we'll share some of those later. And so to be a relevant leader, you have got to learn real skills and become a leader and not just a follower. So how we got here. So if we, we used to, between Molly and I, we used to do challenge groups, post pictures of our products, have awkward reach outs to friends and family, um, especially those high school students or uh, high school classmates. And I, I used to do this. And I can tell you, not only was it awkward to initiate the conversation, but some of those conversations got more awkward <laughs> as the interactions continued. Um, and then join my team post. This was something, Molly, that I know a lot of people do, but for me, I could never get over that hump of join my team post. So I know some people have done this. It would always make me nauseous to see those. So when I started to learn these strategies, I was so excited that we could take the focus off my team and things, um, pronouns like my, I, and those types of things and make it about other people and helping other people succeed. So I'm really excited to be um, in a position where we don't have to do things like that. And all of the above did work at one point um, when Facebook first came out. Um, you know, some of these things were effective, but those days are long gone. And we need to be um, on the on the cutting edge of what's working and effective because all of our time is so valuable. So I don't know about you, but if I'm going to spend some time on something, I'd like to get the return on it and see the results. So that's why these strategies are just so important and so exciting because you can start to see the results pretty quickly. Absolutely. And it is nice to know because we are constantly changing and evolving and it is such so great to have mentors and leaders that are always teaching us how to be on top of these trends. And it's actually really refreshing to learn new techniques so that you don't have to stay, you know, stuck. So it, for me, it was a real light bulb moment. So what we were doing was not working. And in previous companies that I was a part of, um, I was always incredibly frustrated because I felt like I just wasn't going anywhere. I felt like I was a hamster on the wheel and just, you know, not getting anywhere. I was working hard, but <laughs> not going anywhere. And so we saw people online getting the results that we wanted. So we decided to take matters into our own hands and learn how to do things a little different. Yes. And I just want to point out, so Mandy says, I'm so excited to get started with the right way. It's hard to pace myself and not get messy. So very <laughs> Mandy. Um, I hope you take some. I hope you have your notepad and pen ready because um, I think we're going to give you some nuggets that you can apply right away. And Ruth says no awkwardness anymore. That's so true. I mean, nobody likes to be awkward for sure. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So drop us a one, you guys, in the comments below if you have ever felt frustrated in your business or not sure what to post. I think we've all been there, um, but I'd love to know kind of where people are at. So, you guys, how would you feel 
what would it feel like for you to have your ideal prospect reaching out to you from one single post? What would that feel like to wake up in the morning and see comments and people reaching out to you in Messenger um, based on what you're providing and putting out on social media? How would it feel to never have to chase people again? Like I love sneakers and I love running shoes, Molly, but not to chase people, right? So like, I'm, I'm, so a, for I'm a runner, so yeah. <laughs> Um, and then how would it feel to have little to no rejection because the people that you're asking are know what's truly valuable and have and want what you have to offer? How would it feel to have the confidence when you show up on social media and do your business with purpose and with passion? And this was a big one for me, Molly, because before I started to learn some of these strategies, you would never have seen network marketing posted on my profile, but you would see my product spammed on my personal profile and you would know what I was doing, but I wasn't saying what I was doing um, because I was almost, I was, I was afraid what other people would think, right? And being in a professional field, um, you know, I had some of that hesitancy, but I can tell you it is so um, refreshing, I guess, for lack of a better word, to just have that confidence to not only pose, but also that personal development for confidence in everything that we do and the passion and the purpose to go along with it. It's just, it's really hard to describe, but it is an amazing feeling for sure. Oh my gosh. Yes. And I feel like I could spend a whole session just on that alone. But again, having that confidence, I now have people going, Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Tell me more. And um, they commenting, you know, seeing the change in me. And it's like so honoring to be able to, you know, have that confidence um, because I haven't had that it before. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So make sure you stay until the end because we have a special gift for you. We have a worksheet to help you get some clarity on your perfect prospect. And we'll be posting this at the end. So again, make sure you stay till the end so that you can get um, your homework. <laughs> Me being, you know, a teacher, it's like, oh, guess what I get to give at the end, right? So three uh, secrets we're going to cover. So secret number one, what is an avatar and why having one is important? And number two, what is a target market and why does this matter? And secret number three, how to attract your avatar for your business. So secret one, secret two, and secret three. And that's, again, something that you want, might want to take some notes on, but no quiz at the end. So <laughs> I always have to throw in some, some teacher stuff in there. So. Secret number one, what is an avatar and why having one is important? So let's dive right into that. So the avatar is marketing to everyone, or excuse me, marketing to everyone is actually marketing to no one. So when we're trying to cast a wide net and talk to everybody, and we probably all heard everyone is your prospect. I was taught that when I was first introduced to network marketing, anybody that has skin is your prospect. And that's <laughs> really just not true, right? Because not everybody wants what you have. Not everybody may may even realize that they need what you have. So not everybody is your prospect. So when you try to cast that wide net, you actually end up talking to nobody. And that's especially important in the social media world because there's a lot of noise and you're trying to get people to stop their scroll. You're you're trying to get people's attention. And when you're not speaking someone's language, it's just not relevant to them. So that's super important. Um, we're going we're going to turn you into real marketers with the information here. So what does that look like? Delivering the right message in front of the right audience and the right eyes is what will recruit more people. People reaching out to you when you're speaking their language. You know, we've probably all come across those posts on social media where you read it and you're like, oh, wow, they're talking to me. And when you can resonate with someone like that, you're going to get them to stop their scroll. You're going to get them to want to learn more. And that's where that reaching out directly to you comes into play. Always, always um, be clear in your posts because you're talking to one person like you're talking to a friend. So having the avatar defined and knowing exactly who you're talking to allows you to speak their language, which will resonate with them. 
And that is, is so true. I was taught too that, boy, if they have two legs and breathe, then they're your prospect. You know, everybody that you go to the grocery store was your prospect. <laughs> oh my gosh. I used to hate going to the grocery store because I felt like I had to prospect everybody at the grocery store. <laughs> So the avatar defined, a prospect avatar or buying persona is essentially a profile of the perfect customer or client. It's one person. And when you understand who your ideal prospect is, what they look like, their habits, their interests, their challenges, their aspirations, in fact, everybody, everything about them, you'll be much more effective in marketing to them. And this was such an eye opener to me because again, I felt like I was supposed to be talking to everybody and quickly realized that I was, you know, absolutely talking to nobody. But the more I started to go, oh, who is it? Who, what problems do I want to solve for this person? Then you felt like I, well, excuse me, I felt like I could be much more genuine and authentic in reaching out to people. And I'm sure, Carla, you felt exactly the same way with that. And again, let's drop it to. If you go, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be nice to know who your ideal prospect is and you know, have that idea of how to actually reach out to people and connect? All right, so defining the avatar, a good place to start is to ask yourself, what problem does my opportunity solve? that people are searching for an answer to. And this is really important, Molly, and you already kind of mentioned this a little bit, but knowing what problem you're solving for somebody is makes all the difference. A simple Google search can help you uncover some of these ideas, and this is what you're gonna to start to incorporate into your postings. Yeah, so an example of that, say, let's say you're with a company that has some weight loss product, products and you go, oh, well, you're going to be looking for people that, you know, maybe want to lose weight. And again, that Google search is going to help you uncover some ideas for, you know, tackling weight loss as an example. So getting deeper into the avatar, who specifically is it that you want to attract and help? Okay. What specific pain, struggle do they have that your opportunity will solve? For example, maybe it's a weight loss. Maybe it's a, a sleep um, issue. Maybe it's a skin issue. So what specific pain or struggle do they have? What other struggles do they have in their lives? Do they have financial struggles? Do they have uh, job struggles? Do they have, you know, I mean, we all have struggles, right? Um, what are their desires? You know, what are their goals, their dreams? What is it are they wanting to do? You know, their physical, emotional, financial relationships. What specific lingo does your avatar typically use? So for example, in a, I'm a runner and I'm an avid runner. And so runners have specific lingo. We're always talking about, you know, 5K, 10K, speed training, tempo training. We even have one, I always laugh at this work, it's called fart looks. And if you're a runner, you know what that is. But if you're outside of that running world, you don't know <laughs> what that is. So knowing all these things about your avatar will give you endless ideas for content. Why? Because you're there to help them as a trusted advisor. And is, Carla, is there anything you wanna to add to that? No, I think you hit it right on the head, Molly. There, there's just a lot, um, you know, I think you kind of touched on it with the content creation. That's one of the biggest struggles um, in network marketing, especially when you're building online is the content creation. It can be, a, a game stopper really of not knowing what to post. Um, and when you know who your avatar is, when you know what problems you can solve for them, not only does it get you excited about being able to provide solutions and value to people, 
but it also resonates with people. And like you said, Molly, it's going, you're going to be, your mind is going to be flooded with content ideas because you know exactly who you're talking to and what you can help them with. So the, the idea of what to post or being random all of a sudden becomes very, very clear and super fun. <laughs> to be honest. Absolutely. Yeah. So once your avatar has a virtual relationship with you, they're going to join you based on your recommendations, which is awesome. So secret number two, what is the target market and why does it matter? So this is super important. The target market is simply the range of people in which you will find your avatar. So what is if oh, sorry. Nope, we're good. Okay. Oh. So if your avatar is, say, a woman that's 45 into fitness and wellness, wanting to take her health to the next level, you might find her in the range of people who say, like Jillian Michaels, she might um, not have every single attribute of your avatar avatar, but she has one or more. So your target market is someone that has one or more attributes of your avatar. Your avatar is very specific. Your target market is the, 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 the people that have one or more attributes of your avatar. So still super relevant um, and something that you want to be aware of in, in your posting strategies. You know, I just had a, a funny thought to go with this. I was just thinking of, you know, in the Disney movies, you have your your knight and your shining armor, right? You know, that's what we are often taught as little girls. You know, you're looking for your knight and shining armor. And your avatar is not necessarily your knight and shining armor, but you have a list of qualities that you want um, your avatar to have. And maybe they're not going to have every single one, you know, so you can just because they don't check every box doesn't mean they're not right. But you, that's what you're wanting is that sort of a checklist of attributes that you go, yes, these are the problems that I'm trying to solve for my avatar. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so secret number three, how to attract your avatar for your business. So how to get results fast with your posts. So once you start posting in your prospect's language, not only will it grab their attention, it will go also get them into action. And I will tell you, there is nothing more empowering for me when I make a post in my prospect's language and I get people reaching out and wanting more information or just commenting on it because that again is part of that posting process is getting that engagement and people to start noticing you. 100%. So how to get, here's some things of how to get no results. So sharing your website link on your personal profile, sharing the name of your company, using product pictures, using stock photos, asking people for the sale right in a blanket post, not appealing to anybody on an individual level whatsoever. Anything that's mass um, created is not going to resonate with your audience. Um, being unwilling to get real and vulnerable. When you say, when you're just dipping your toe in, staying on that surface level, it doesn't give people a chance to know, like, and trust you. And that is super important and relevant to getting people to connect with you, trust you, and then all going on to buy from you or team up with you as, um, in terms of building a business. Um, so here's an example of a post. So this product is really working for me. Buy it here to reduce your anxiety, loss lose weight and sleep better insert website link insert spam 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 so, <laughs> none of that is providing value to people it it is touching a little bit on your own personal experience but it's very very surface level right a lot a lot of people could say um that something has helped them with their anxiety or weight loss but it does not tell a story and it doesn't get to that vulnerability or that personal touch. So these are the things not to do. And as I'm looking at this, I am guilty as charged for a number of these things. Um, but really when somebody goes to your personal profile, they shouldn't know what company you're working with, right? 
And it's not something that you're that you're trying to hide. It's just not something you're leading with, right? Absolutely. And it's interesting because sometimes I'll, you know, often now get friend requests. And when I go in and look at people's profiles, oh my goodness, there are times where I can't find anything to comment on because all they've done is just post pictures of their products. It's just product, 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 product. And there's nothing personal about it. And you're like, I don't know who this person is, right? Um, it, it's it's kind of crazy about that. And I think there's a balance in there because I've seen, you know, times where people will obviously share the name of their company. And yes, do you can post pick products of or post pictures of products, but you just want to do it in a what we call a non spammy way. So again, you're being authentic and sharing the story. It's really about sharing your authentic story behind it. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up, Molly, because we were talking about this yesterday. And when you get a friend request, um, you and I were talking about this. We can go out to a personal profile and literally within 60 seconds, I could tell you pretty much where anybody is on their network marketing journey just by simply spending 60 seconds on a personal profile. So it is amazing the power of what you post. It absolutely is. So first, you have to understand and decide which perfect process, prospect are you posting for, business versus customer. And I know some of you may all of a sudden go stop, you know, just stop and you go, Ooh, wait a minute, what's the difference between a business prospect and a customer prospect? Um, so I think I'm going to address that for just a minute. In a business prospect, you are really looking for um, people who want to build a business. In other words, people who are looking for perhaps a second income or to a way to create residual income versus a customer that is like a customer is a quick you know, hey, I want to solve a, a simple, maybe a skincare problem or a sleep problem or a nutrition problem. Um, and that's a little different. And in a funny way, when I look at that with, for example, as I said before, I'm a runner, you know, a customer might be, oh, what shoes do they want? Whereas a business might be, gee, I'm gonna help this person run a marathon. So do you see the difference there between having a business post and a customer post, a customer is like, yep, I want shoes. A business one is, yeah, I want to learn how to run this marathon. And they're, again, going to be a little bit different in what you are posting for. Yeah. So that, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Okay. So what language do they speak? And what are the typical words or language patterns do your prospects typically use? So using their words are going to make you relatable and understandable. And just like I mentioned running, you know, runners have their own lingo. And it's like the more that you can make that relatable and understandable, the better it is. If I'm talking to a non-runner <laughs> and using words, it's like talking in a foreign language, right? So again, it's learning to speak the language of what your avatar is wanting. There we are. 100%. So what problems do you solve for your prospect? Like Molly said, if you're focused on the business opportunity, think about the problems that you're solving for that person, whether it's that they lack training or mentorship, what have you, What what is their struggle in their business and how can you help solve for that? Similarly, on the product side, what solutions does your product or service solve for? You know, and they're very different because sometimes I think in network marketing, we try to blend the two. And again, that gets us in this trap of talking to nobody because you're trying to talk to the same, you're trying to say the same thing to two entirely different groups of people and audiences. So, you know, best to pick one to focus on initially and getting started for sure. Uh, but just make sure that you're very clear on like what that problem is that you're solving for because it's different, right? Um, yeah. And the key is to be specific, you know, talk their language, speak their language. What Molly just said about being a runner, you know, what are some of those words, those keywords, you know, for 
on the business side, I can tell you on the network marketing, you know, we know words like rank advancing and upline and things like that. So those are words that you could use as you're speaking to your avatar on the business side. If you're talking to somebody on the product side and you're in health and wellness, you can be talking about non-GMO and vegan and, and sugar-free and, and dairy-free and soy-free and whey-free, all those things, right? That someone that is yeah. looking to salt to improve their health might be interested in. So, you know, again, it just cannot emphasize enough on the key is to be specific here. So drop us a three if this is making sense. This is a great time to kind of check in with you guys, make sure that this is making sense and resonating with you. Um, drop us some love hearts too, but drop us a three in the comments if this is making sense. Okay, I was just trying to, there we are. So business prospects. Carla, I'm going to let you do this one because you had such a funny story about this yesterday. So I'm going to have you take care of this one. Yeah, I cannot wait. So business prospects, here is a list. If you're focusing in on your business, here are some potential prospects for you. Network marketers, obviously, that's an obvious one. Cubicle slaves, I'm going to come back to that one in just a second. Maybe you're focused on stay-at-home moms looking to generate a, a second income, people looking to retire, people looking to pay off debt, people looking for a travel fund. I mean, oh my gosh, the, the, it's endless opportunities here on the business side. People looking for a community and a sense of belonging, or people looking to learn a new skill and really dive into personal growth. I can tell you, being in the corporate environment for over 15 years, network marketing is like personal development on steroids. You know, like if you want to fast track your personal development, get involved with network marketing and you will have endless opportunities available to you. But I want us to go back to the cubicle slaves because I, I'm a corporate auditor. I've been in the corporate environment for well over 15 years. And one of the things that has always kind of been gut-wrenching to me is this idea of not having a large degree of control over your future. And I'm not saying that you don't have any control over your future because that is true, but this is an example that I wanna share with you um, to support that statement. Um, every year <laughs> in July, <laughs> we have this thing called talent calibration. And what happens is senior leaders get in a room. I envision it's a round table, but I'm sure it's not, but that's just in my mind. What it is is this big round table and senior leaders get together and talk about their employees and the talent that they have, the capabilities, their promotability, all these different attributes. And do you know who's not at the table? Me, the person that they're talking about. And I don't know about you guys, but when somebody's talking about my capabilities, my future, and my possibilities, I'd like a seat at the table. <laughs> and so that's something that when I was in, introduced to network marketing and me ha and being able to give me back the control of every single result that I produce, that's something that I get excited about. So when, when I saw this list, uh, this on the list in the cubicle slaves, I actually have an office. I'm not in a cubicle, but it definitely resonated with me um, on something that, you know, people might be looking for having a little bit more control over their financial future, having control over when they get the next promotion and not waiting for somebody to retire or die or leave the company. None of those are positive. <laughs> Abs absolutely. Absolutely. And oh my goodness. Uh, yes. So business prospects, some key words for network marketers that you'll often hear upline, downline, convention, list of 100. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, it's like, okay, get, make your list of 100. Three way calls, three way Zooms, comp plan, recruiting, sponsoring, team building, residual income car bonus, trip incentive, bugging friends and family, sending hey girl messages. I've gotten some of those. In fact, I'm guilty. I actually sent some of those. Um, and yes, we could. It's so fun to be able to look back and laugh on these things now. And not that all these words are bad, right? I mean, upline, downline convention, you know, we use three-way calls, three-way Zooms. It's just, again, it's a matter of learning your prospects language and what is going to resonate with them. Yeah, and I will say on that last slide, Molly, you know, if you're, so if your avatar is a network marketer, 
those words are all fair game to use, in fact, because your avatar understands that language. Your avatar speaks that language. That yeah. will resonate with them. So same with some of these on the cubicle slaves. Um, I can speak to this one very well. You know, the nine to five, the commute, the paycheck, the boss, employees, vacation pay, having to ask permission when to take vacation, you know, that income ceiling, um, promotability, child care, daycare. Those, these are all words, again, just to give you guys an idea and start thinking about what words you can use to appeal and talk your prospects language, right? So these are just some examples. So hopefully you guys are writing some of these things down. If your your perfect prospect is a network marketing network marketer or a cubicle slave, you know, jot some of these words down as keywords to start crafting um, your messaging around these things. And I'll just share one too for me as a teacher. Um, you know, we're told, you know, we get summers off, we have our scheduled vacations, but it's also really frustrating because when we're on vacation, everybody is on vacation. And sometimes I wanted to be able to take vacations when other people weren't taking their vacations. Another thing I kind of joke about is, you know, my salary as a teacher um, afforded me to stay in a Motel 6. And I was joking with Carla last night about, you know, I wanted to be able to stay at, at a hotel that had thicker towels, <laughs> you know, just as that that option of, of being able to, you know, again, break that glass ceiling and that income ceiling. Another one for business process is stay at home moms. You know, I was a stay at home mom for years and I wanted it was hard because I wanted to contribute financially, have my own money. Um, we had scheduled play dates, feeling an imbalance with household duties, resentment of spouse, valuable times with kids, not missing out on life. Again, those are key words that often stay at, at home moms have if you're wanting to attract them as part of your avatar. So why does all this matter? And well, what really matters is when you speak your prospects language, they'll take notice. You know, that's what's going to get them to stop the scroll. Like they feel that you are talking directly to them. You will feel you will feel more relatable, like you understand where they are and you've been in their shoes. They'll start to know, like, and trust you. When you speak your prospects language in your posts, they will immediately feel more connected with you. They will be saying things like, she gets me, you know, yes. I agree. Me too. You know, these are some of the things that will start to go through their minds and it gives value and helps solve their problems with helpful content. And Molly, looking at this list, that's the one that I get most excited about is being able to help someone in their journey um, through life or with whatever problem that they have. Um, that one gets me super excited so that you don't have to feel spammy. You don't have to feel icky or you know, me focus that you can seriously lead with value, feel good about it. And rather than getting ghosted, you get thank yous. Oh my gosh. Yes. And I will tell you, nothing makes me in a sense feel better when I post something and other people go, oh my gosh, I like this so much. Can I share it? And it's like, yeah. absolutely. Because then I know that I'm giving value. So when speaking with your prospects, keep it going. Mirror and match makes you more relatable and familiar. So it's always fun. And I know that when you're with groups of people, often you sort of um, mold yourself into that group. And it's kind of interesting as a teacher, every single class has its own little personality. And so again, when you're speaking with your prospects, you want to sort of mirror and match what's going on because it makes them instantly comfortable. Again, like they know that you go, oh my gosh, she or he gets me. So that has to do with your tone of voice, your words, your body language. You know, are you leaning in? Are you leaning back? Are you standing with your arms crossed? You know, um, you want to be welcoming. Watch your mannerisms, your volume. Um, sometimes they tend to talk too loud, too fast. You know, speed of speech, facial expressions. These are all important when it comes to actually speaking with your prospects in person or even online when you're doing lives. 
100%. So if this is making sense with you guys and you're wanting more training like this, um, this is just really just a small snapshot snapshot of how we train our network marketing team. In the last 14 months, our team has produced more than 200 rank advancements, like 200. That's that's amazing. And it may be more than that. I don't know. But we were guessing last night that it's easily been a couple hundred. Yeah. And probably more so on the conservative side. But why is that important? And the reason that that's so important, you guys, is it means that people on our team who follow the training that we're teaching, that we're sharing with you today, it works. When you plug in and you apply these things, learn, apply, and teach, it works. The results speak for themselves. It's cutting edge social marketing, and most teams are not teaching this. Um, Molly, you gave me the example last night that someone that you've worked with in a prior company um, is still doing like robo calling. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, hadn't, I don't even know what the word for it is, but it's pretty old school. If it was my understanding. So. It was it was interesting because um, and that's something I did in a previous company. And oh my gosh, that was just really hard. And just, you know, in a nutshell, I remember I did not like calling people, cold calling, because I just felt really spammy um, because we were given lists of people to call that had been in previous network marketing companies. And we were supposed to call them and see if they were interested in joining um, our company. And the lists were supposed to be current and they weren't. And I cried when I got somebody who had died a few years ago. And I, talk about feeling slimy. <laughs> yeah. No, let's not do that. So, I mean, really staying on the cutting edge and, and every week when we plug in and share these trainings with you, it's the most relevant information. It's the most relevant data that's out there. So really providing that cutting edge social marketing, which is gonna cut through all the noise on social media. You know, and how do we have this knowledge? Molly and I, you know, the last year, it's been like just over a year, 14 months, Molly, that we were just starting on this journey. And I'll just share a quick story. Um, you know, it was COVID last year, right, where we were all in home and I had been staring at my four walls for a while. I decided I needed to do some paint projects. So I was painting one night and I had Trish and Ruth on and I was listening to the very first training and the first time I'd ever heard them train on anything like this. And I got to tell you, it was like they were in my head. They had the things that I was looking for. And I didn't even know I was looking for them yet, Molly. And oh. one of the things that really caught me off guard, and I was rolling my paint pretty well, pretty fast. I think it was a Friday night, and I had, had a couple of drinks, too. So I was really going to town. And I heard Ruth say something about Hey Girl messages. And my roller stopped, Molly. And I was like, oops. We're not supposed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we weren't supposed to do that. So when we say cutting edge, really providing you that information before you even know that you need it. And that's really what caught me and really got me inundated to all of these things that this group teaches. So, um, you know, it, keeping it really simple, we, we put here in the slide, learn, apply, teach. What does that look like? Well, you listen, you do, and then you share. And it's really as simple as that, you guys. Um, I couldn't break it down into more simple words. And that's exactly what we are doing today. We're sharing our knowledge of what we've learned over this last year. So imagine how it would feel to use your Facebook and Instagram to attract the right people for your product and business. Finally have the time and money to enjoy life. Never need to spam your friends and family again and create a five-figure monthly income in a year and actually change your financial future forever. And if you guys are still not sure where to start, comment strategy in the, in the comments below. Um, one of our team members will reach out to you and get back to you. We will be offering a, a free 15-minute coaching session to really give you that direction and that specific on next steps for you so that you can not only just listen to what we were teaching today, but apply it because that's really where the power is, lies and where the magic happens. So we hope that you guys will take advantage of that to really start jumpstarting your business, getting these things into action so that you can start seeing the results in your business that you all deserve. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Carla and I have had an absolute blast 
And uh, we just want to also give a shout out to our mentors, uh, Truth. Our Truth, I did it. Look at that. <laughs> our Ruth and Trish for helping us, you know, not only for the training, but now they're kicking us out of the nest. And I just um, am so excited about that. And again, um, if you have questions, please get back with the person that maybe invited you to this group or feel free to reach out to Carla and I, and we can you know, direct you and give you the information that you need. Have a great so week. Thanks everyone. And we'll see you soon.